Hi students, welcome back to another Georgia Virtual School Digital Design video tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the web animation module. Remember when you log into Canvas, you need to select your home tab and then locate the name of the module and then you're able to start with your overview. Remember the overview is going to give you um, just a brief introduction of what the module is about and what you're going to be learning. Then you're going to see your lessons pages. Please make sure that you click on your lesson pages and read them thoroughly because this is your online textbook. This is how you're going to learn the content. And then you're going to take the information that you've learned to complete your discussions, your projects, your assignments, your capstone, and so forth. So please make sure you read those lessons carefully. Now let's jump into some key terms. Remember each module has key terms and essential questions. Um, your essential questions for this module are what do businesses use animation on their websites or why, I'm sorry y'all, do businesses use animations on their websites? What kind of animation work or seem particularly effective? What are the benefits and problems in web animation? And then lastly, how can you create and incorporate animations on a website? Make sure as you're reading through the lesson material, at the end, you need to be able to answer these essential questions. You need to do a knowledge check to make sure you understand everything that we've covered in this module. Your key terms are animation, cell animation, animated GIF, or some people say GIF, JavaScript, and then scalable vector graphics. Make sure you read the definitions carefully. Be able to use these terms in a sentence. That's just a good rule of thumb. Let's take a look at our first discussion. This one is called ups and downs of using animation on the web. So for this discussion, it says adding animation to a website can add an element of fun, but you have to be sure that the animation is appropriate. Animation is not suitable for every website. So don't just, you know, throw animation on your website. You, you got to make sure that it fits. Discuss in a minimum of five sentences what turns you off when you see animations on a website. So five sentences is what we're looking for. We want to know what turns you off when you see animation on a website. Also, when do animations work? When don't they work, right? So find a website where the animation works also, we want you to find a website where the animation does not work and we want you to explain why you say it works and why do you say it don't work. Tell us about it. Make sure you add those links to the discussion so that your classmates can check out the websites and see what you're talking about as you're discussing. And again, make sure you have those five sentences, complete sentences, good sentences, okay? As always, remember you're going to reply to two other classmates. You have to write three to four sentences when you reply, and you also need to add a resource when you reply. So remember those resources are going to be, you know, links to a YouTube video, links to another website, maybe add a infographic on there, something where we can go and learn more information about the topic. You can also do an audio response, or you can extend your response beyond three to four sentences and kind of double it to maybe eight sentences and that can also substitute as a resource okay all right let's move on to the next assignment for the research animation tools assignment it tells you here in the directions that um, you've learned that there are numerous animation tools that you can use to create animation but for this assignment we're going to research eight different mobile apps and animation software and what you're going to do is to create, you're going to create an infographic. Now, I've noticed that a lot of you like to put everything either in a Word document or on a slide. If the instructions tell you to create a specific, um, what do you call, document or um, a specific artifact, that's the word I'm looking for, then you need to make sure that you do that. So infographic is what you want to create you don't want to create a, a 
Google slide presentation or anything like that. That's very important. Okay. So I put an example of an infographic over here on the right hand side so that you can see what we're talking about. You can also Google some infographics. Um, I always recommend Canva when um, you are creating because I think that's just going to be an easy tool for you to use. Um, so definitely check out uh, canva.com and search for infographics or you can use a different tool, that's fine. But um, you want to make sure it's an infographic and not a presentation. All right. Now you're going to turn in your infographic. You can download it as a PDF or you can uh, turn in the link uh, to your infographic depending on what tool you're using. Right. So here's what you have to have. You have to have eight animation tools. OK. You also need to have images. So if you look at the example here, this person has eight um, websites and uh, the images are there in the middle. These are just the logos for each one of the websites. You also need to have the name of the animation tool. So if we take this one, the first animation tool here is Canva. It also tells you that you need to hyperlink the website. And this is also important, you guys. Um, yes, you may have the website on your graphic, but you need to hyperlink it, which means I need to be able to click on this link and it should take me to Canva. Okay. So if it's not hyperlinked, that can be points off. Make sure you hyperlink it. Um, you can definitely hyperlink in Canva. Um, but again, depending on the tool that you're using, you may have to figure out how do you hyperlink. But um, make sure I can click on each uh, website address and it takes me to where I need to go. Also, you need a description of your animations or a description of what the website does, what the tool does. So notice there's a Canva description here. Give me the price. Uh, does it cost money? Is it free? So um, they let you know here that Canva is free. There's a free and a paid version. Typically, there's a free and paid version of um, a lot of tools or most tools. Um, and you can say that as well. What technology uh, can this tool be used on? So is it for iPads? Is it for Androids, um, desktop computers, whatever? I also mentioned what it takes to register. Uh, so do you have to sign up with Google? Do you sign up with a username and password? How do you register? And then uh, lastly, do you have to download an app? Um, is it a web-based tool or is it something you have to download? So you want to talk about all of those things in your description of your animation tools. And then you're going to turn in uh, your item to the Dropbox. Let's move on to the next assignment. This is your creating an animation project assignment. Um, let's read the directions here. Um, as many animation software and apps exist today, it is easy to create an animation and place it on a website because there's so many different tools, right? But can you actually create an animation without having any advanced technology to aid you or to assist you in your creation? Uh, for this project, we want you to use PowerPoint to create your animation. So we don't want you to use a tool. Uh, we want you to use PowerPoint. And you should see some videos throughout the module that will show you how to do that. Or you can just go to YouTube and search for, you know, PowerPoint animation or ways to create animation in PowerPoint and you can definitely see some examples of how to do that but essentially you're just going to create multiple slides um, once you get an idea of what your animation is going to be and you just want to um, move your main object on the slide in different positions for each slide so that when you set your time the um, the image or your object is going to appear as if it is moving and that's going to be your illusion of animation. Uh, so for this example that you see here, someone had um, the illusion of leaves falling off of a tree. So the tree was full and then it gradually, the leaves gradually fell off onto the ground. Now I do want to say this about this assignment, you guys. I don't want you to take the easy way out. I don't want you to do something basic. I don't want you to put a circle on the page and move the circle. I mean, I really want you to have, think outside of the box, make sure you have a whole theme and
going on. Think about everything that you've learned throughout the semester and just make sure your assignment is worth what you're turning in is worth 100 points. Remember, this is a project. So please do not put just one object on the page and have it move. Have some type of background, you know, have multiple things going on even. You know, it doesn't have to be just one object that's moving. Uh, so kind of be a little bit more advanced with this one. You're going to turn in your PowerPoint. Um, you need a minimum of 10 slides, which are essentially frames. And you want to make sure you choose a design. Think about it. Choose something, you know, outside of the box. Don't be simple, okay? And um, you want to make sure that your character or your object moves, right? Has to have movement. Um, each slide after the first slide should be timed to one second. Um, and you want to make sure that it's set to automatically play. And then it's three seconds because the first slide is your um, introduction slide, if you will. Okay. So again, be creative for this one, you guys. Be creative. All right. Let's move on. Let's go to the uh, capstone project for B. And for this one, hopefully you guys can see, you probably can't see the bottom here is cut off. But I'm recommending that you use storyboardthat.com for this one. Now, this is just a recommendation. You don't have to by any means because for this assignment, you can do paper pencil. Um, you can use Word. You can use a software or whatever. I just like to recommend websites if I can. But for this assignment, you're going to create a storyboard. Okay. And remember that um, you're going to create an animated video using a web 2.0 tool or software of your choice for your capstone project and remember the theme is going somewhere um, and that video is going to be 45 seconds to a minute but for this I want you to create a storyboard for your video and um, make sure you have the title make sure you have your name on the storyboard and um, again I've already said you can use paper pencil or software your storyboard should be a minimum of 15 frames. So each one of these squares is a frame. Um, so you want to do a rough sketch of your storyboard, but you want to provide information for each shot. Give me a description of what's going on um, in each shot. Okay. Um, again, I recommend storyboard that. Think about your scenes. Think about um, when you're shooting your video, if you're going to do close up, you know, think about all those things, lighting, everything like that. Think about those items, okay? But storyboard, I need frames. Please make sure you don't turn in a presentation. No Google Slides, no PowerPoint. It is a storyboard, okay? A storyboard. All right, next one, let's move on. So we have the, the quiz, it's not the video. Uh, integration quiz uh, that's not the module sorry about that but it's web animation quiz and it's going to be 35 minutes you're going to have 10 multiple choice questions so please make sure that you um, go through the content and review everything before you take the quiz to ensure that you do well on the quiz okay and next up we have rubrics please make sure that you um, review your rubrics before you turning your assignments so that you can ensure that you get full credit and everything looks good don't forget about that course checklist that we talk about each week when we do these presentations um, please go to your quick links class resources to download your checklist so that you can see the assignments that you have to complete and write down your due dates and the date that you completed each assignment if you have a questions any questions please feel free to reach out to me Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial. I hope that it helped and I will see you in the next one.